It's Carolyn Zook here with Suzuck Stitch. And today I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a finish parade here, if you will. These are finishes, but not FFOs. Some of them you've seen very recently. Some of them you might not have seen in a long time. And some of them, if you're new here, you might never have seen. So we are in mid-July 2023. I know a lot of people are doing their mid-year whip parade. Um, instead of doing that this year, I thought I would do a finished parade. A couple of you have asked for this for about six months <laughs> and now I'm doing it. Um, as many of you know, I am off this month and, um, part of what I want to do is I want to do some FFOing. Uh, I, I don't think I'm particularly good at it, but, um, these have been in my drawer of shame. My drawer of shame is behind me in one of those cabinets back there. I've pulled them all out here. Um, and it'll be really fun to go through, uh, go through these with you. I'll do my best to remember. I don't have notes or anything, so I'll do my best to remember <laughs> the pattern name and where I got it from. But if you have any questions or you want me to go kind of dig a little bit deeper and figure out, um, exactly what the pattern is or anything like that, just let me know. And I can do that since I don't necessarily have all that information here. Um, the first thing I want to start with before we get into that is finishing. <laughs> so I, 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 I try to be very good and not buy a whole bunch of things to finish on. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> I just saw it above my head. We'll add that to the pile. Um, <laughs> um, is there anything else I need to add? No, we're good. Um, <laughs> um, so when I'm at Michael's or Joanne's and they have their like 70% off clearance sales, I do like to put up, pick up little finishing I'd, things that I think maybe could be useful for finishing. Um, I don't have a lot of it because I, again, I'm, I could get totally carried away. There was, I was at Michael's yesterday and there was 70% off like uh, 4th of July and they have these blocks and they have an American flag on them, but they're just flat blocks, which would I think be really great for something, but I, I resisted. Anyway, so here's just a few of the things I have. So, I mean, this is cute enough. This is probably a dollar or something. I don't know when I got it on sale. I can paint over it or, um, I mean, I don't mind the white color. So if I have a small enough piece that would fit and cover that, I could do it. Otherwise, I could just paint over it and use this for a small finish. And it even has a hanging, a hanger on it already. So that, you know, like again, on clearance at the end of the season, I picked that up. This one... This is another one. I thought it was a cute little pumpkin and home sweet haunted home. Again, what well, says full price is $10. I did not pay $10 for this. And this one, well, you can't see, but this one will stand up on its own because it's kind of thick. Um, and again, like if I have a small piece that will just cover, it doesn't even necessarily have to be Halloween. Um, I mean, this part makes it Halloween with the spider webs and the haunted, but if that part is being covered, um, I don't think, I mean, but if that part's covered, it just looks like a Czech pumpkin, right? Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these. But again, this is on clearance. It's very heavy duty and very thick. It's actually quite hefty. And it would stand up on its own. So I thought that was cute um, to finish a Halloween piece on. And then these, uh, these say they were $10. They were not, again, I think this is like $2. And you get two of them in here. They're just like heavy cardboard essentially just white pumpkins so a two pack yeah it's a two pack but again these are a little bit bigger you can see my hand or if we compare it to this pumpkin they're quite a bit bigger and again I don't mind the the white um but you could easily paint this with acrylic paints to give a little color and and then stick a piece on here um, and they have hangers as well so they are ready to be hung up for fall so those are a few things that I um, try to pick up. This is literally all I have because I'm trying to be good and not over, over buy for once, <laughs> for once. Oh, I also have this. This I did get um, at uh, Acorns and Threads, and I will show you the piece I plan to finish on this. Um, it was shown in the, in the store finished on this piece, so I will probably just do that. But again, this was only $9 at Acorns and Threads. It's just a piece of wood, but it's planked and it's nicely, um, painted. So I did pick that up. Okay. Let's get into the good stuff. So 
part of what I'm doing this summer is I'm going to FFO pieces, but there are some pieces that I also want to fix in certain ways. And I'll talk about that as we come to them. The first one, the one that I grabbed off the shelf because I saw it, is one of those that I want to fix. Um, okay, so this is You Are So Loved. This is a freebie. I can't remember who by. You probably have seen this. I think it's Darling. What I don't love about it, so it is on a, looks like gold opalescent fabric. It's showing up really well in on the camera, but in person, it's hard to see the you are so loved. Um, because I think the gold, the glitter kind of takes your eye away. So what I want to do is I have it, this is, I don't know, it's also on here a little bit off-sided. <laughs> You can see there's less space up here and more space down here. I think I want to make this into a, like a little pillow or something. So I'm going to take it off. Um, it's um, hot glued onto there, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I did it. Um, I want to change the color, You Are So Loved, to stand out maybe into like one of the blues. Um, so it stands out more against this fabric and then finish it into like maybe a little tiny pillow or something like that. So that's one of the things I'm going to do this, this summer is take out the you are so and, and restitch that into a, uh, a color that stands out more. Um, and then I don't, I don't want it necessarily framed. I want it maybe as like a little pillow or like a, it may, I have walnut shells. It might be nice to have a little heft to it. Um, so that is you are so loved. It was a freebie. And if you want to know who buy, let me know and I can look that up for you. All right. We have a bunch of Christmas ones in here. Um, because I finished a bunch of Christmas ones. A couple years ago, I did Jolly July where I started like 12 projects. And I think those are all done now. Um, so, but uh, I don't know that many are finished. So this is uh, First Snow. This is a freebie from Drawn the Drawn Thread. Um, I think it's really sweet and darling. Um, I don't, I feel like it would make a great bookmark. <laughs> I mean, I know I want it sitting out, um, you know, so that you can actually see it. So I might just finish it. I mean, it'd be cute if I could find like a little, like a small skinny little tree or something so that it looks like it's mounted on a tree. Do you know what I mean? So that it would stand up on its own. I thought that would be cute. Um, so that is for snow. This is on, this one is on a, a dove gray, probably 28 count dove gray. Lugana. Left a lot of finishing space <laughs> around that one. Okay, next up, this one, I can't remember the name of. I know you all have seen this before. This is a little teeny tiny one. This would make a great ornament or gift tag. It is so cute. I think it just makes my heart happy. Um, this is stitched on. I won a, a pack of fabric from Be Stitch Me a long time ago, and this is just like mystery fabric. Um, again, I wasted a whole bunch of space, but that's okay. I think it's really cute. Oh dear, maybe it's called. Um, okay, this one. Oh my gosh. This was one of the first pieces when I came, that I finished, when I came back to stitching in 2018. Um, I don't know how I'm going to finish it or if I'm going to finish it. Um, this is 12 Days of Stitchmas. You can tell it's older because I signed it. I don't really sign my work, which I know I should. So I finished this in January 2019. Um, this is a, a Caterpillar cross stitch. I think it's really cute. This is stitched on a 14 count opalescent Ada. I think it turned out really cute. And I know several people say you can make it a cushion, which I could, but I worry about cushions or pillow, like pillows that would like sit on the couch with my cats. I thought about just making it like a wall hanging maybe, but I don't know. That one might just live in the drawer and that's okay too. This one. This one is so embarrassing, you guys. This one is by Lindy Stitches. This is, um, what is it called? Lindy Stitches. We would be together and have our books and at night be warm in our bed together with the windows open and the stars bright. 
I stitched this for a friend of mine for her wedding. She got married in January of 2020. I finished it just a few days after her wedding. Um, and then the pandemic hit. And then I moved twice. And I still have it. So one of my goals is to get this um, finished and framed and mailed off to her. So um, what is it called? I know you know the piece. I'm blanking on it. I just love the little granny squares around it. I think that's just... And I don't know what the fabric is. It's a 28 count. I'm not sure what the fabric is, but let me know if you need more information on that. That's a wedding piece for somebody who's been married for three and a half years. So, yay. Okay, next up, this is Cross Stitch Nation. This is by Heartstring Samplery. And I, and I did add my own. I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. I finished this in 2020. Now, I have this little, it's like a 3D thing, which I like, except the mounted, I mounted it wrong, like that X is off center. So I just want to go in and I'll do another X or two or something like that um, to fix that. And then I have the scissors in there and then I have the needles. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the threads. I don't know if you can see. Um, I put in real threads but they're quite wonky. So what I might do is I might take those out and actually stitch in the threads on the ones that are holding the needle and thread, which is, looks like four of them. So it just looks a little bit cleaner. And then I will just get this one framed at acorns, I think, without, uh, I doesn't, um, I don't need a glass on it, right? Because I have that 3D effect to it. I think it turned out pretty great, except for the threads. They're, they're just kind of hanging all over the place. Um, so yeah, this is Heartstring Samplery Cross Stitch Nation. All right, next up is Temperature Tree by Stitching Mommy. I think I finished this in 2021. I didn't, I didn't mark the date on it. I, I'm sure I have it somewhere. Um, what year? I think actually this is 2020, I think. Anyway, this is by Stitching Mommy. I, from the time I stitched this, um, it's this chart still available in her Etsy shop. Um, but from the time I stitched this, I thought this would make a really cute um, for a tote bag. I live in Portland. We love our trees out here, right, um, in Oregon. And so I thought this would make a really cute front of a tote bag. So this is definitely one of the ones that I want to work on this summer. Um, cross stitch nation. I want to do that because I think the only thing that's holding me back is just the threads and that one X in the hoop. So that's an easy fix. And then I can take it in to be framed. This one, I want to make a topic. I'm not particularly great at, at sewing, but you know, you're not going to get better by ignoring it. Right. All right. This one is by Al Forest Embroidery. It is Bayoun Cat. Um, this one, I think I will get framed, uh, eventually. Um, I just have to save up for the framing. It's actually quite a bit smaller than, than you would think, but there's a lot going on in it. Um, so I did the whole kit. Um, so this is kit fabric, kit floss. I love their floss. So this is Bayon Cat. And this one will probably just get framed eventually. And I might hang it in my room. My room might become the cat room. This one, there's no reason why this one isn't FFO'd. This was from... A magazine is called Frogs and Wellies and it's a little tiny spring piece and I added the charms in to be like raindrops some people it was very controversial some people really hated that I did that actually some people are like that is uh, looks awful I like it I mean I know they're big chunky raindrops maybe I can look for smaller ones but I like the little 3d effect um, so this one I would just probably finish on um, like the board, the, the foam board, and just have it up, at, um, you know, in spring. I don't have a lot of spring pieces, but the technique, so this is by Fabi Riley, and the technique was learning how to do these roses. So you can see it kind of has a 3D effect anyway. So that's called Frogs and Wellies. This one, I need to get framed. This one 
is my friend Lynette Peters designed it for me called Carolyn and her cats. You can see in the middle, it's Carolyn and her two cats. I finished this. I love it. Um, I used, it was an Australian thread that she sent me that I used for this. I love it. I think it is so cute. Um, so I want to frame it. Um, I might see if I can frame it myself. I have to check the size. Um, and then it will just sit, um, I don't know, in my, in my bedroom, probably on my dresser. This one is called, this I think was another freebie. It says, I have no notion of loving people by halves by Jane Austen. I love it. It is done. It is stitched on a 16 count aerial Ada um, by, oh, it doesn't say who. Picture this plus, I think. I don't know how I'm going to finish this. Probably a little pillow. Probably a little pillow. That one I just made up my own colors for. This one is another freebie. <laughs> this is on a 14 count Fiddler's Oatmeal. And it's called You Bring Peace to My Heart. I think that's really cute. I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I know some people do a scrapbook. This would be a good scrapbook piece. But I, I don't intend to start a scrapbook. Um, so, you know, it's cute. I might might hold off on finishing that one for a little bit until I figure out exactly what I want to do. This one, <laughs> this one is definitely a 14 count opalescent Ada. This is called Educated by Bent Creek. Um, and I finished that. My friend Lynn gave me the chart. Um, I started something else on here that I abandoned. So that is actually not part of it. <laughs> So I thought this would look really cute. It's a cat on book. So I thought this would be really cute to get just in a little frame and set on my office, uh, on my, on my um, desk at work. So I think I'll go to like Michael's or Joanne's. It's, Michael's has a better frame selection. Probably Michael's and see if I can get a little frame for that. So that's how I'm going to finish that one. This next one is a little ornament that my parents got me when they went to um, my um kind of my ancestors are Norwegian and um, my parents for their 50th wedding anniversary, this is a few years ago now, went to Bergen. Well, they went to Norway and they picked up this little, uh, in Bergen, uh, Norway, they picked up this little cross stitch chart. And so I have that finished, um, but I haven't FFO'd it yet. So I need to FFO it. This next one is from a magazine. This is one of the ones I started for Jolly July a few years ago. This is stitched on, looks like 14 count lizard Ada. It has sparkle. I don't know if you could see the sparkle. It is called Looking Out, I think it's called. So it's a cute little window scene. Again, this would make a cute little, like a larger ornament, right? Uh, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that. This one is City Sidewalks. Uh, this is by Glendon Place. It was in a magazine as well. I love this Christmas song. And I put in these little kind of buttons for the snowflakes. So I think this one would look great. This one I could do as just on foam core and just have a little stand. And I think that would look really pretty. I'm not planning to get all these done this summer. Just... To clarify, just some of the ones that are easier. This one is easier. Okay, so this one is Noel. Um, very very simple. Um, this is by JBW Designs. I'm looking. I have the thing right here. I would like to finish it similar to how they did. Um. They have 2018 in there. I didn't put a date in there. I think I would like, if anything, I'll put a little charm or something in there. But I don't want to put the date in there. But I do like how they FFO'd it. So they just kind of put it on a board and then put it over a wreath. And then you can hang it from like a doorknob or something. I think that's super cute. This is a super fast stitch. I stitch this on 16 count antique white Ada. And there's a lot of it left. I mean, I could do this three more times if I wanted to actually wouldn't make a bad gift. Um, but so there's that. 
Then there's this other one. This is by Rivaris. It's called The Stockings Were Hung. It goes this way. The Stockings Were Hung. Very, very cute. Um, I think it's a darling little piece. I just, as you can tell, I used the scrap piece of 18 count fiddler's cloth um, in light oatmeal. And this is from Just Cross Stitch, the 2019 ornament issue. And again, I really like how she has it finished here. So I would copy that, <laughs> essentially. So I really like how she has it done there. I think it's really cute. So I would do something similar to that. This next one is another uh, little ornament. Um, stitched on 16 count white chocolate Ada. This is by, uh, it's called Red Berry Wreath. It is by Elizabeth's Needlework Designs, and it is from the 2018 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. Um, there's a charm that goes in the middle. I haven't been able to find the exact charm that's supposed to go in the middle, but I'll find some. It's like a star charm. And then just finish it as an ornament. I thought that was cute. I can show you how they have it finished. So you see how they have it finished with that star charm? That one, I think, I think they're no longer making it when I came to stitch this one, which is fine. I'll find something. But I just think it's a really pretty, really pretty one. All right. We're getting there. This next one is called Trimming the Tree. This one is by Bendy Stitchy. This was the last one that I finished um, from the Jolly July where I started 12 projects. But this one was finished. Um, this one, again, is on a mystery count aid, uh, mystery count, mystery fabric from the Be Stitch Me mystery bundle that I got. I think that's what I got it from. And that's what this is going to be finished on. So... I'll finish on, on foam board and then I'll, I'll attach it to here and then it could hang up somewhere at the holidays. So that is Trimming the Tree by Bendy Stitchy. Really cute. Okay, now we are getting into the more recent ones that you have seen. Um, so this one is um, the Early Bird Bouquets series, um, which I've showed you recently that I finished. So there are three, three charts, um, that you finish in hoops. I have the hoops. I just need to paint them. Um, and this is in Cross Stitcher magazine, the April, 2019 issue. Um, but I have everything I need. I just need to sit down and paint the hoops and then do a hoop finish, which um, my friend Jessie said she would help me learn how to do. This next one you have seen recently as well. This is the blue flower. This is Tudor B. I want to finish it as a pillow. I have to put in his little leggy that I forgot. So that's what I need to do on that one before I can finish it as a pillow. So you saw that one recently. Then. I have StitchCon 2022. So we have this one. Um, I'm not sure how I'll finish it yet. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I'll figure that out. Um, so that's fun. That's just like a cute little um, commemor commemorative piece. And then last but not least, that was in my finishing drawer, oh my gosh, is it's the huge one, folks. It is uh, Spring at Hawk Run Hollow. And I haven't done anything with it yet because I'm not sure what I want to do with it. <laughs> it's so big. I was thinking of a like a big bell pull. I don't want to get it framed. I know that. I think a, a big bell pull. I do want to, do you see where, um, so it's supposed to say Hawk Run Hollow or something in there. I changed it to be CL Zook 2021. I don't like the colors I chose. 
Um, I don't like that green background. So I'm going to take out the green background and maybe put in like the yellow from the nest or something to make it look a little lighter. I'm not sure. Um, but it's such a big piece. Um, I wouldn't mind making it into a bell pole. It'd be a big bell pole. But I, I just, that framing for that is going to be so expensive if I got it framed. And I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, so I think um, a bell pole would be good. I just have to find the right items. I don't need to scoot back forward. Um, so that's everything that's in my drawer right now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or any ideas on how to finish any of these pieces. I think it'll be fun. I'm hoping to get, you know, a few done. Um, if I can get that wedding gift shipped off, that would be great. Um, this month, there's really no reason not to. Um, although I do need to get it framed. So that might be the holdup, but at least if I can get it going. Um, so yeah, so that's everything um, in my drawer. So not terrible. A lot of them are very small pieces. So I'm going to give it a shot at finishing and, and working on my skills this summer. And I look forward um, to sharing that with you when I do get them FFO'd. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.